guys, it's Brad. Welcome to the channel. Uh, welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and the Capricorn Rising Weekly Tarot Reading for March 4th to March 10th, uh, 2019 and uh, <clears throat> uh, in this video that is going to be a general tarot reading so for that reason uh, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single uh, Capricorns but if you do want a more personal touch meaning uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me and to give you a prediction for its future and how it's going to develop and so on and so forth because this is where really the uh, strength of tarot resides when you give a narrative when you give um how can i place it when you give a question just like um astrology requires your date of birth and uh, the time of birth is as much tarot requires your question. So uh, that being said, as a general reading, you should align your personal situation and your personal questions with the general reading to make it a little bit more personal. But yeah, if you want me to do that for you, then you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there basically you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So going to the general spread for Capricorns, the first card, which is the topic of your week that is going to be the tree of pentacles followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the eight of wands followed by the third card which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the um the four card and the last one which is the final outcome of growth <clears throat> should you follow here the guidance of tarot that is going to be the page of wands. So basically, uh, once again, three of pentacles followed by the eight of wands. Then it is the um, full card. And the last one that is going to be the page of wands. So what we do have here for you Capricorns is that this week is going to be uh, a week where you're going to finally, finally get the support you require to develop yourself further. Uh, in the sense of that, uh, that could be that someone or a group of people who are going to believe in your capabilities into your relation into your career excuse me and into your relationship as well as a matter of fact but having the three of pentacles here as a prime position it means that this week is gonna uh, is going to be all about uh fruitful conversations cooperation from which cooperation you learn all right that is not going to be a balanced cooperation like with the three of cups cooperation here you learn you follow guidance you follow cre you follow criteria you do follow criticism because these people that you're going to cooperate with they're going to criticize you i mean they, they they ain't going to get any easier on you right whatever you do wrong <clears throat> these people that you are cooperating with are going to make you sh make you aware that you are doing it wrong and also they are they are going to make sure that you are not going to do it twice in the wrong way uh, that could go either way they could either stop working with you or you can take under account what they are criticizing you for and basically correct yourself my point here is, is that this week you are going to face a lot of constructive criticism and you got to take a note from that constructive criticism. Now, for a very few of you, this constructive criticism is gonna come from yourself, right? For example, uh, you had a really poignant cooperation or rather partnership with someone, and you need to criticize yourself why this uh, partnership was poignant and um, stop being, for example, generous or stop being uh, incorporating a certain um, you know, a certain behavior in a future partnerships and so on and so forth. But the very least throughout that week, uh, if you do have a skill to develop or a project to develop or relationship to develop for that matter, you are definitely going to be supported throughout that development. Meaning uh, you want to develop your relationship Well, your partner will try to develop it with you. You want to develop a project at your career. The, co the people that you are working with, with are going to help you develop it. Your supervisor is going to support you throughout that development. Your boss is going to support you throughout that development. The um, 
the family of your partner into a relationship is going to support you throughout that development. But you got to follow a certain rules. Once again, they're going to criticize you. They're going to give you your, their criterias and you got to follow those criterias. The additional card to the Three of Pentacles here, this is the Nine of uh, Cups. And what we do have is passive uh, friends meaning of that it's going to go for a long run in the sense of that this incorporation, this um, not incorporation, but um, cooperation here, this support is going to go far beyond this week. What I mean is that it's going to be a long term one. OK. And with the nine of cups here, although you are going to experience quite um, quite a big amount of glee that these people are supporting you, you know, that you finally have someone to uh, watch your back and so on and so forth. Um, how can I place it? You need to know that uh, partial achievements or partial success are not acceptable. Therefore, you should not stop um, working for it until you consolidate or rather solidify this partial success into a long term one. Now, as the nine of cups is the wish come true, that wish comes true only if you follow here the criticism that these people were giving you and you rely on the support through the, your development that these people are as well willing to give you. But that support once again comes with a condition that you have to follow a certain rules which are going to be established through fruitful conversations. So meaning of which, um, if I have to give you an example how that is going to play out into your career, it could be that your boss calls summons you into their office. It's not calling it summons. I think that's the term. And they tell you, look, I kind of like, you know, I have been watching you lately and you seem kind of like uh, that you are dealing well with the job. So do you want something a bit more challenging here? Uh, don't worry, you know, I, I'm going to... Um, help you any way I can, uh, but uh, you have to do this, this and this, you know, and uh, you need to stop doing that, that and that. And uh, that is the criticism. Basically, you got to take it into consideration. Uh, have your negotiations or these fruitful conversations of how you are actually going to deal with the new project and then start dealing with it. That's uh, that's the thing with these cards. And when it comes to relationship, it's, it's more like rearranging the rules of the game here, you know, taking under account what aggravates your partner, making your partner taking under account what aggravates you as well and kind of like trying to work it out together. So it's kind of like mutual criticism that you're going to have to uh, kind of throw into one another and then cooperate to overcome that criticism and to overcome those points of poignancy that you do have toward one another. So going to the next card, Capricorns, which is uh, the negative approach toward the situation, that is to be the Eight of Wands. I'm pretty much, I already covered it with the Three of uh, Pentacles because the Eight of Wands here, it does point to speed. It does point to uh, not paying much attention, really. It's kind of like um, not taking under consideration the criticism or the, um, how can I place it, the advice that those people are, um, are giving you. Not to mention that this card could refer that you are to take the uh, support that they are giving you as a granted and start doing stupid things. So the Eight of Wands is a card of uh, taking advantage of many opportunities. Unfortunately, in this case of yours, well, not it is not unfortunately, but it's more like a... Uh, uh, situationally, uh, situationally in, in your case, these um, exterior or peripheral opportunities has nothing to do with, uh, with this growth that you are to chase. A quick example, I, if we follow the line where your boss is giving you this uh, task for you to accomplish, this card could come up as a... Um, you know, uh, a way that opens up to accomplish the task that you haven't negotiated with, uh, with your boss and uh, or with your supervisor and you basically make a decision uh, for you or rather like, kind of like, well, I don't know how to say it in English really, but not consult yourself or rather um, 
surpass the opinion of uh, of those people so whatever it kind of seems risky and clear you need to um, you need to lead a discussion for it with those people who are supporting you throughout that week because you may do a big mistake with the eight of wands you need to know that this is high risk high reward card and in this case it's only a high risk card there is no reward whatsoever here so you got to be um, you got to playing uh, you got you need to play your card on cards on secure bet meaning of that if something is even briefly vague you gotta address it with these people that are supporting you. You have to lead those conversations about it. So together you can find a, an appropriate solution to the eight of wands without rushing it. That is very important. The accompanied card here, this is the five of pentacles. And what we do have is active neutrals. And basically it does point that well, it is about cooperation once again because we do have two people struggling in the winter and uh, you should not be the one struggling. So the more you lean to the five of pentacles, the more, the less the eight of wands takes place, the negative approach of the eight of wands. So <clears throat> don't, be, uh, don't be afraid, guys, to talk if you cannot do something. Same. Um, if we go along with the with the boss thing and they give you this task and along the way in a couple of days you face something overwhelming that requires that it is required from you to do according to this task you may start thinking that if you go to your boss saying that you are hesitant that you are going to accomplish it or you are not feeling secure enough to make any um, you know make any actions toward it that may make you look bad in their eyes, they may lose uh, faith in you and so on and so forth. Just on the contrary, the fact that you go and consult yourself with either your boss, with your partner into your relationship and so on and so forth, only points that you don't want to fuck up the things up, all right? And that you, uh, how can I place it, that you want to do the best thing possible, even if you are unable at that moment, they are going to help you to do so. So don't be stubborn and don't kind of like feel almighty. Don't be afraid to talk about the things that makes you feel insecure, to talk about the, the things that make you feel um, uncertain that you are going to yield any results. Because together with those people who are supporting you, with those people that uh, you are cooperating with, uh, definitely you can overcome these these setbacks because you don't have to overcome them alone. As a matter of fact, these cards are pointing that you should not overcome them on your own uh, at all. So the next card that we do have for you, Capricorns, that is going to be... Uh, well, my point here is that you don't have to face the plights of this week on your own, okay? That is all that, all that these cards are pointing. So the uh, next card, which is the uh, positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the full card. So non-confronting, it is what the full card says. These people criticize you for what you did. Well, do not confront them. Basically, take their criticism as something that you, that you need to learn from rather than something that you have to oppose to. Additionally to that, the full asks you to be open for any kind of idea at that stage because uh, what ideas these people are going to give you that you're cooperating with through the fruitful conversations once again are going to be uh, are things that you haven't thought uh, for yourself until this very moment they may seem a little bit immature at the start they may seem a little bit uh, how can i place it stupid it is um it is the uh, the word, but you have to allow yourself to try it. The fool asks you to take the leap of faith. Now, uh, this criticism coming your way, it is because you haven't... Well, basically, criticism comes around because you haven't uh, basically considered what they are criticizing you for as an option available, and now you need to consider it. Even if you don't see a reason behind it, that's why the fool comes as a leap of faith that you need to take. On top of that, you need to be lighthearted in a sense of, uh, as well, spontaneous. Um, listen to what they have to say, I'm repeating myself, and uh, simply be focused on the goal. Okay, how you're going to get there, 
it does not really matter, but the goal itself does matter because the full card in one tarot deck that I have read about and it's described like this guy wants to become a knight, right? This uh, guy or this kid, a toddler in the medieval age wants to become a knight. Now, how the toddler is going to become a knight, it does not matter at all. It, all that matters right now is the toddler wants to become a knight. He kind of has that clamorous belief and he focuses completely upon the goal. So this is what you need to do. Focus upon the goal and have the belief that these people know what they are doing. Your boss knows what, what, what they are doing. Your partner in relationship knows what they are doing and so on and so forth. Uh, Non-attaching, it is also something that you need to do in the sense of that um, don't take the things personal uh, throughout this week, especially when we're talking about criticism here and uh, we're when we're talking about a, a, a fruit, the fruitful conversations that you're going to lead. Uh, you need to accept those new ideas with pure heart because the full card is also very innocent and pure hearted. <clears throat> So, um, well, it's difficult to explain it, but let's say that um, you can, you are pure enough to incorporate those new performances into your, um, into your current routine, should I say that way. The additional card to the four that is going to be the five of swords which is um, active supporter here that we do have. And basically what the Five of Swords says into your situation with the Four is that should you listen, uh, you just are going to realize that you can go so much far than you are right now, guys. It's just so much far. Just to give you an example, you had those uh, Rangos with your partner. Now you're leading those fruitful conversations. You have criticism into one another, working out that criticism you know, instead, instead of uh, with the Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, uh, adopting the standpoint that you are the right one and they are the wrong one, all right? And as you start working out the things that are based by the criticism, you will start realizing that, oh my God, we can be married, you know, we can, we can start living together, we can engage and so on and so forth. Basically, a brand new future opens for you, uh, simply you basically break through your current limits and set for yourself a new, new limits. Not to mention that uh, this combination points that you will have the power to alter your future, all right? Basically, you can determine what you wanna be from now on through the support of these people or of that person, which means that they are going to put that unconditional support in there, should you not take it for granted. And you gotta be careful if that's your case, if you are granted such amount of power, because with the Five of Swords, the victory that you're going to achieve, because definitely this is gonna be a victory on your behalf, could be as well a bitter victory. So once again, you need to be mindful about how far you can go, right? Because you can go as far as you, can, uh, as you want to, but this as far as you want to may not be as far as you can, all right? So that, these are two different things. Uh, one more thing I want to say about this combination, the Four and the uh, the Five of Swords, is that, well, once again, don't take the things personal, because among the criticism with these cards, there could be as well some personal attacks towards you. You should not take them personally. Basically, people are jealous. They don't want to see you persevering, uh, some of them, and... Uh, with these couple of cards as well, you will see who is true friend of yours. So it also a week Capricorns where you are to liberate yourself from, from some noxious people that are occupying uh, the space in your social circle, which space could be liberated from a people that will actually help you with your development and you can make a, a very, very good cooperation, which I have a very important Capricorn person in my life that recently they had that, you know, separation with an important person for them. Well, I can re reassure that Capricorn that this was the right thing to do. Now it's time for you to start cooperating with new people, not with the old ones, but with the new one. And lastly, what we do have that is to be the, uh, 
the end, the, the final outcome of growth from the week, page of wands. So you are gonna find yourself open for everything new at the end, which means that some of those um, crazy expectations of your behalf are going to become very, very achievable. Page of Wands shows as well that you are going to realize how strong you are on your own, guys. It could as well mean appearance of a person who is going to be as crazy as you are in a sense of that, you know, uh, kind of like chasing that overwhelming goal and together through cooperation, achieving that or that goal at all. Now, on a very superficial level, the page may mean that if you are expecting some certain message, or a uh, confirmation or approval, this is gonna come around in a positive light at the end of the week based on these fruitful conversations and cooperations that you had. So, <clears throat> You know, if this is about your boss and you cooperate with your boss at the end of the week, they're going to tell you, okay, you know, you have my blessings. You can do what you think is right according to the, uh, to the project or to the job. It is because you proved to me that you can listen and that you are ready to actually tackle with this difficulty. The accompanied card here, that is the world. And we are talking about definitely a, a new, new perspective. So you are to finalize a, a very how can I place it, a peak of experience for yourself, all right? We do have here active neutrals and uh, what these cards are pointing is that your development sh well, kind of like will not and should not stop here, but you can continue developing a certain skills of yours and you can grow, you can have your promotion. Like I said, you know, your relationship doesn't have to stop into this stage. It can go higher and it should go higher. Your friendship circle should not stop into this stage, but it could go higher and it should go higher. Your cooperation with people should not stop at that stage, but it can go higher and it should go on a higher, higher rate and stage as well. But the very least here from these cards, Capricorn, uh, you are going to basically, guys, recognize that you are much, much stronger than you think you are. And you have so much more to accomplish with the arsenal of, of uh, capabilities and knowledge that you have. It's just you need that cooperation with these people and their criticism to realize that. So do not confront them, guys. Just listen to what they have to say and follow their advice. And I promise you with these cards is that at the end of the week, you are going to feel that the whole world is opening for you. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was your general reading for Capricorn star sign. For that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single Capricorn. But should you want me to answer your personal question and to analyze your personal situation and give you a prediction for your future, how your situation is to develop. That is a subject of a, a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you around. Bye!